It's America Recycles Day. Brian McElhatton takes us around town to a place that is taking green to an artistic level. When it comes to recycling, most of us toss our plastic and glass into that container and set it by the curb. But one store in Phoenix is getting crafty with recycling. The three R's take on a different form and ecocentricity in downtown Phoenix. Here, junk items are reused or repurposed into fun art or functional tools. It always gives me goosebumps to see what people will come in with. Laurel Deathridge yeah, is the owner, and she says it's important to think green when we're getting rid of items in our home. We need to do all we can to make use of the resources that we already have instead of just sending them off to be buried in the landfill where many of these things will last for hundreds if not thousands of years. The goal is to rethink the way you recycle so the next time you toss something in the bin you might consider donating your items to the creative better good. We collect things like um, your Christmas cards, we collect wine corks, um, we collect coffee bags. And artists of all ages can benefit from the donations at Echocentricity. The store also gives items to the group Treasures for Teachers, which provides low-cost supplies to educators. And two everyday heroes from right here in the Valley will put their knowledge to the test on tonight's Let's Ask America. Yvonne Gonzalez volunteers for Stand Up For Kids. The organization makes sure homeless children and teens get to medical appointments and have a meal to eat. Once a week, the kids get together for a family-style meal called Sunday Dinner, a program Gonzalez created. She'll be going up against Tyler Vasquez, who's so passionate about the Boys and Girls Club, he has the logo tattooed on his arm. Vasquez works for the Tempe branch, so tune in tonight at 6.30 to see if either of these heroes takes home the big prize. For The List, I'm Brian McElhattie.